Hi guys, Boltagen here, we're back with Hand of Fate 2. We're up to, um, I mean we've already done Death, um, but I didn't upload that recording. I thought I'd um, get it on Gold, record that for you guys, and upload the Gold one. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get into it. So I've already got some companions here. Um, so I've already run it. Um, what I had issues with before is that I couldn't make the uh, the threshold for the gold, uh, which is a hundred and seventy max life. I made the one thirty cutoff, uh, but I couldn't make the one seventy. Um, and continuing on to do adventures after this, um, unlocked more cards um, for me to get better max life, higher max life. So um, yeah, that really through to the advantage. We should do, hopefully do well this time, well enough to get over 170. Um, just cull a whole bunch of this equipment. Uh, Lionheart is amazing, so it adds max life every time you, you like use it. Glutton, you'll obviously help me with my food gain. Um, some of these cards, I don't know what they do yet. Um, that one looks like it'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, all these unknowns. I need to go through and do some adventures just to get rid of some of these unknowns to these cards. I love that ring. My favorite ring. Mm, that might be good. Um, so just filter it down. Uh, this one, if I have more blessings and curses I get 10 max life, that's pretty bloody great. Because I'm planning on getting um, at least one blessing, so. What else have four left to do? I am mostly going up against thieves, um, bandits, things like that. Harvest Blade is supposed to be pretty good for food generation. Haven't had a chance to use it that, that yet though. Three more to get. Hmm. Assassin's Blaze. I mean, things have been going really well with um, Hand of Fate 2. Um, getting golds. Getting gold tokens on everything. Um, pushing through pretty well. I've been looking at a couple other people going through it. Um, they seem to be having a bit of issues, but they'll just bypass that adventure and continue on and come back to it later. Uh, this is the only one I've done that on. All the other ones I've been able to finish um, silver, then gold straight after, or just gold straight off the bat. Um, but this one here, I actually had a restriction. of I didn't have the means to actually reach 170 max life, so. Uh, the Alchemist is really good for it. Um, one drunk at night, doesn't give you max life. Um, fame doesn't really matter about the jewel. Um, Goblin Town can't give you max life. Does give you a ton of food. Um, don't know what some of these cards do. They're only new. You can just give me the, because I really need to get that, um, that vial, that lion's vial artifact by the end, because that gives me at least plus 15 max life, which is pretty insane.
By the way, I did have a look into it, and the old maiden card uh, that has a token on it. Uh, so we try and figure out why I haven't been able to get that, because I've hit that card a lot. Uh, but it requires this card, the Waterfall of Youth. If you get the Waterfall of Youth, if you hit that card first, and you successfully win the card draw, and you get the Potion of Youth, then you take that Potion of Youth to the Old Maiden, uh, and you give you give her the potion, then you get the token. So, it's worth it. See, that shrine is supposed to give me a lot of max life, whereas that um, other Platinum card didn't, so I'm really trying to optimize getting as much max life as possible and just really pushing through. Really, really pushing through. Got three more to get. I know that man-eating tree card um, I just need to give up equipment for. Uh, the winter solstice, solstice uh, you have to give up a blessing, but you can get max life. Um, so... Probably still more max life cards that I don't have, of course. Uh, I'm really, I'm pretty sure, quite confident that uh, I've got enough here to um, get me to the end. This Thomas Yoga card is actually really good. If you can pull yourself through on that one, ignore getting the food, don't fight the ogre, and go through and take part in these games. Uh, the dice, the card, and the precision. If you can pull those off. You can get some, um, get, get, get equipment, um, quite easily. So I do quite like that card a bit. Alright. Everything selected. Death Let's was go. named on your last visit. Let us see if you're any the wiser. Thanks. Alright. You have powerful enemies. You know that a filthy street urchin approaches you, you in a busy town then? market to ask. You're the one the who bound a mage and broke the raid leader of the north, aren't you? you? I mean, look at that picture. He's so... So sad and looks like he's eating... Something. Oh, I heard that someone's offered a lot of gold to have you killed, she remarks while picking her teeth. Now the whole guild wants in. Mm. They've been some, some fancy assassin. The, fa the fancy assassin. The one they call the Reaper. Guess he's pretty good at his job, hey? Mm, the Reaper and his arrow that will kill me with one hit. I mean, I've only got 10 gold. I can't really buy anything yet. Seems pretty pretty stupid to put a, put a shop right at the beginning. A little annoying. Brilliant, yes. Alright. If I can pull this off. Fantastic. Awesome. That means uh, as long as I hit all cards on every floor, I'll be able to get that token off the old maiden. It's going to work out really well. Hell yes. What's that mortitious magic door? Ah. Uh, no thanks. My favorite blessing, or one of my favorite blessings. Um, oh, no, that doesn't give me max life. This one give me max life. Oh, this one. Oh, this one could be good. Discard a food gain or equipment gain card and get plus five max life. Oh, that one actually might be worth getting. Just because I really want to reach that gold token threshold. Um, it's a hard one because I really like this gambler's banquet one. Plus food every dice game, but it's just so broken. But for this adventure, I'm just gonna have to go with this one. It's just, it's just gonna be so much better. Yeah, don't want to turn in. Want to explore every single card. Spider trap. I mean, I'm not a vain. Man. Be happy with. Anything. You must appreciate that the game, this game, gold will be the best been my anyway. focus for more years than I can count. I have a certain pride regarding its twists and turns. Uh, 
It is only five gold. Three if you must. Ooh, we're gonna get this uh, better results from wrong. them than I have in turn. Oh yes, very nice. Well done. You continue to impress. That's awesome. That is double awesome. Fantastic. We're only five max life away from hitting the first threshold. Let's go. Sorry I'm not stopping and reading everything. I've done it so many times. Put a big enough price on a man's head, and you'll find mm. every wheel crawls out of the Let's woodwork in order to claim it. Bring it on. Take my platinum magician into battle. <clears throat> Pretty sure the platinum means that if the bubble that I have gets hit, it explodes, maybe causing area damage or something. I do really like having the bubble because I mean, you do notice in combat, like, wow, I just wrecked him. Man, Malakos went down quick. Is that even if you, like, you know, you hit block, depending on where, what position you are in, or if you're in the middle of a swing or something, you just won't, won't trigger. Wow, whacked him in the face. And the worst attack with these thieves is that knee attack. All the other attacks I have pretty much, um, not too much trouble blocking. That knee attack is really, really quick and unexpected. I am also still working to get my other companions uh, side quests completed so I can get their platinum versions and some of them are difficult some of them are really difficult and either taking a lot of RNG like multiple points of RNG through the one adventure or lots and lots of food to be able to go through oh do I give this one up for five max nah, I don't think so I think I get the armor yep This one will be really good if I can complete the combat unharmed. It'll give me a blessing, I think. What can I buy? Ooh, that's just gonna give me straight straight up to max life. But I love the gambler's ring. But I need the max life. What's more important? decisions keep walking in the light of grace and this ring will favor you there it is I think I'm gonna sell my gladiator visage for that you know the ring but it wasn't gonna be enough man eating plants oh so I've got to give up a piece of equipment now <laughs> to see if I can get some more max life I think I'll um I'll give him just give him my weapon. I think that'll be the way to go. Yeah. I do enjoy that starting axe though. How much are you gonna give me? Ten? Fifteen? Fifteen! Thank you. What? Plus another ten? That was insane, that's 25 max life. I'm only 10 away. This... This can be done. It can be. Do what you can to find more food.
so much concentration right now. Oh. Optimally, I really want to do it without getting hit so I can get that blessing. That was close. And he got me there. Oh, the range on that. That was a bit BS. Come on. Come on. A little bit hard when my... My weak link is these thieves. Especially on mass. It's hard when there's lots and lots of them. But that knee attack... Bloody... Gets me like 50% of the time. Which is far more than I want to. It doesn't help that my weapons are so weak as well. I did give up my nice axe for 25 max life. I still think that was worth it. Alright. Oh, I was played. Power is ultimately the measure of any empire. This is a symbol of that power. Oh, well, I need to get that. That's just like, yeah. When all That's it. That's 15 max life right there. To find a little extra strength to press on. Oh, man. I have my doubts. Oh. The concentration is Three. real. You have done well. One more famine I can get. I can use that harvest blade. I have no more food though. So if I give up a blessing, I can get some max life. Now I haven't actually used this blessing yet, so I think I might give it up. There we go. 15 max life. Thank you very much. When I wake up in the stable, with some horses. Let's go. So we've got one more floor left. We're looking great right now. It's a gold run at the moment. Old mate should be on this floor. The damage taken from starvation is more than the healing delivered by eating. As with many things, right, so we find ourselves sliding further and further into hardship. I'm just going for gold right now, I think. So I don't need max life, I need food. So here we see yet another wheel. Each different I know that if I get a combination of yellows, just all yellow it's gold. If we get a combination of yellow and blue, it should be green to give me food. Food gain card. So Oh That's rude. Come on. Give me that blue. Yep. Very nice, very nice, very nice. A dull green, so I could do better than that. Maybe two blues and a gold would give me better, but it's seven food, that's awesome. That's got me done for the rest of the game, so that's fantastic. Let's go check out this um, Thomas Yoga. I do know that there is a achievement for successfully winning all three of these games. Um, I have not done so yet. <laughs> um, the pendulum is ever changing, right. and the challenge I can't hit that gold on the first pass. Too. That red one just puts itself right out of the way. Oh come on! Yes, I'm getting better at those. It's hard though, you really gotta concentrate. Ring of food, eh? Oh, I don't really use that anymore, but okay. Dice. Oh. Back to the bones. I hope you have learned Come to be on. their master. Nice. Oh. <laughs> kind of close. Victory. You are learning. Alright. Oh, I mean. Come on. Oh, I can't really use those though, because I don't have the fame for them. I don't even have the fame for the Armour of Gluttony. Mm. I'll take the weapons though. 
Death comes as a surprise even to those oh, this will awaiting it. Weapon, hopefully, that I can use. I can tell you this with confidence. Oh, Gambler's Jewel, though. Armor of Gluttony. The decisions. It is your choice. You can use the weapons you have, or you can attempt to. Well, I can't be use of any one. of them because I just don't have the fame. Of <laughs> it's just what. <laughs> Hey, that's right. We're going up against the illicit trade card against the Empire. I think I'm, I'm in this battle by myself too. Yeah. All right. Well. Say the the weapons are pretty satisfying to use in this game. They do need to work on the L the, um, the finishes though. For me, it's L two. Sure, the finishing moves they need to work on, like the sounds, the impact sounds, could be so much better. The visuals of it going into the enemy could be better repeatedly just doesn't work, it glitches out, they, they could have put more work into that, this does seem like there's a little bit just ignored, so I can, I can just whack these basic shield guys pretty good, whereas these big shield guys, I, even if I do repost them, I still need to uh, do a shield bash. I need to get rid of all these basic shield guys first. These big shield guys are annoying. Let's go. This fight has gone on long enough. That's probably because my weapon does like any damage. Well, I just just killed all of the tavern's customers. So, hooray for me. What a jerk. Oh, I can use the harvest blade now. Show your worth through action. I mean I already uh, it doesn't concern me, so yeah, let's get some food. I have met spirits another shrine gods and death himself. Interesting, so I already come across. I have no shrine. more respect for them now than when I believe the myths. I mean, if I can't reach a 10, pretty poor. Only 5. Oh, okay, well, that just makes up for it. I can uh, make it over 200 max life now. The reaping begins. Can you withstand oh, it? Gotta get the old maiden. The last card, because I want that token. Good luck taking this token from me. Give her the potion of youth. Fantastic. Well done. Oh, sweet. What was that? Platinum made a card? I can use the Assassin's Blades now. Down a button you now. Ooh. Elven ring. At the beginning of every map, draw one blessing card. If you have oh. two or more blessings, the days came choose one to discard. The world has left them Interesting. Behind. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. 220. I will almost got... Oh, actually I will. I'm going to use this artifact and... I'm going to have more than 100 max life more than the silver threshold. There you go. There's probably nothing for me to buy here with 9 gold. Let's maybe buy some food. There's not much else for us to do apart from get this gold token. Turn in for the night, yeah. Uh, the arrow bloody hurt. Shot me right in the ass. Look at him, it's a brimstone card. Yeah, I'm as strong as an ogre or a golem. Get the extra 50 health again. Very nice. Your artifact is empty now and will be of little use. Yeah, probably should have my artifact out. The one that heals me, but I don't think I'm gonna have an issue beating this guy. I do know that he does the heavy attack three times in a row uh, when he does the teleport. There we go, that's one, Maybe two, one more, which I just missed. Weapons are, dual weapons are satisfying to use, I'll tell you what. Oh, he got me there. I couldn't really see. Bloody magicians getting in the way, but look at this guy's health. It's just. It's just going down and down and down. It's so fast. Look. I am dodging just a little bit later than I'd like, though. It's not gonna matter, though. And. Heavy attack. <laughs> Caught him in the middle of the top. See you later. Or not, because you're dead. Here we go. Do not be full token is you have stood against Reaper's the arrow of death. Sacrifice. But you still have not Ooh. met him face to face. Reaper's arrow looked like an artifact. Maybe activate it. Oh, that made it into true form. If I activate it, it does huge damage to an enemy or something. Fantastic. Well, that's death on gold. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video as well. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.